G'day, welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be camping or shooting. I'm just going to be doing some repairs on my Grand Forest Brooks uh, hatchet here. Last time I was out camping was with my brother and he was using my axe and uh, accidentally took a little chip off of the head there. So I'm going to take a file to it and try and fix it, make it look nice. I'm also going to sand this handle down. I already did a little bit of it, but I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to spray some wood polish and conditioner on it make it look pretty so let's get started I'm gonna start with sanding it down with a very light grit sandpaper and I don't want to take too much off of it I just want enough so that the uh, polish will absorb on the bottom I did a little bit of the wood polish just to test it out and it should look really cool when it's done I'm going to also sand this down right here because I did have the head sitting in vinegar for a little while just to get some of the rust off of it. I hear geese. Anyway, like I said, I did a lot of the sanding already, so I think that is good enough for that. We're going to get this hooked up on the vise, get a file, file it down. Okay, there's a file. So I'm going to take this towel, fold it in half, plop it in there first, because I don't want to scratch anything if I can help it. We got that in position, so we're just going to do it bit by bit. You know what, I'm going to switch sides because it looks way more nitty gritty. So that's where the impact was on a rock. What I want to do is go up like this. Seems to be taking shape. I'm going to try this side now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty mad when that thing got chipped, but that's the world of axes, you know what I mean? I didn't buy this to hang it up on my wall. And I've already taken a chunk out of the handle, so what's the difference between a chunk out of the head? If anything, it just gives it character. <whistles> okay, that is very, very impressive. <laughs> Doing an alright job, actually. Wow, I actually think I'm done. It certainly is sharp. Definitely looks better than what it was. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's take this thing off and check it out. Well, I am really impressed. It actually looks really good. And like I said, it adds some character to it. Yeah, see? That looks awesome. There's no chip anymore. Now it's just smooth. Wicked. Now I'm going to throw the uh, wood polish on. See what happens. There. Okay, it says the wait 10 seconds, but I'm going to give it maybe 30 or so because it really needs some polish on it. You can already tell that it looks better. And you can see that it's absorbing. You can see all the little bubbles everywhere. Tiny bubbles, no troubles. It is soaking in. Beautiful. Try to give some life back into this axe because it one time that I left it out in the rain like an idiot when I first got it, eh, it happened. But if you're spending upwards of 177 bucks on a hatchet, you better know how to take care of it. Okay, that's been soaking up for a while now. Let's get our handy dandy towel. Wow. That looks awesome. A thousand times better. We got rid of that chip, we got rid of some rust, and we polished that handle. That looks so nice. Just a little bit of tender love and care can really make the difference. You know what I mean? Like it looks practically brand new for the most part. That looks 